we're at 71,000 for of mogul skin. I don't think we've ever seen this many people ski ice ice moguls <laughs> intentionally. What's up? We're back. It's March, Saturday. Today we got the Gun Barrel 25. 25 laps on this run, 1,700 vertical feet of massive moguls. <laughs> we got the skis. We got the mono ski in there just for kicks. And uh, yeah, it's 35 degrees already, so I'm in shorts. And it's gonna suck, honestly. But <laughs> we'll have some fun. We got some friends doing it as well. So uh, yeah, Brian's not here. He might hear, be here sometime today. Got talked into this thing, so here we go. <laughs> First lap, gun barrel 25. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, Ty and Maya and Tyler are back there, one chair back. What do you guys think? How much is this gonna hurt? It's gonna be good. walk it's good. <laughs> yeah, I, No, I don't think. <laughs> get, a, get an Uber. I'm just sleeping in the California lot. <laughs> That's a good plan. That's a good plan. You know, he may be in first, but he kind of looks slow here. Yeah, buddy. We're eight laps in to the gun barrel 25 almost exactly an hour averaging like three minutes a lap 
It's, this is gonna hurt. How many laps you got? Five. Five laps, how are your legs feeling? Not bad, not bad. Not bad? <laughs> Maybe six, I don't even know. <laughs> it's, it's early still, but it doesn't feel early. Boy, beats coming in. Yeah, yeah buddy. What's your name, my dude? Marcus. Marcus. 18 laps in, how you feeling? Good. Like yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? We're at uh, like two hours, 25-ish minutes. Dude, crushing. We got Brendan in second, is like three chairs back. Somehow, he was ahead of me last lap, so pushing it a little bit. I just finished lap 20. <sighs> and it's not as bad as I thought I would be, feel, but. All right, done with 24 laps. Surprised how good I feel actually, but getting sloppy. There's a lot, lot of rocks out there. What's that? Hey, Kyle Spain. I am. I can't believe you're a pro. <laughs> so much better than you. <laughs> I, uh... I told myself if I ran into you, I had to do it, and I know it's probably super No, hard. I love it. That's awesome. That's oh. awesome. Oh, this thing is agonizing, huh? Dude, I'm, I'm a very, you know, casual skier. Yeah. So, you know, I, I mean, I can ski all this, but whew, I'm, yeah. uh, I'm losing it. It's brutal. Yeah. I'm like, was not expecting to go so fast. Yeah, what are you at? I'm, uh, I just finished 25. Fuck yeah, dude. Nice. In just under three hours. That's sick. Oh, but I was thinking it was gonna take way longer, so now I have to just decide how many <laughs> yeah, right. laps I'm gonna know. do. All right, we're done with 25 laps. Actually, we're done with 28 laps now. Starting in on 29, managed to hold off Brandon and, and take first place for fastest 25 lap, but there's also an award for marathon. So I don't know how long I want to suffer. My legs are getting smoked and my back. We're at like 43,000 of skiing so far in like, I don't know, three and a half hours. Um, See how long it lasts. Hey. What's up, guys? What's up, dude? What's up? Are you, are you go, you're rolling, right? For the Iron Man? I guess so. You have to. I know. You're there. What are you at? This is the start of 30. Hell yeah, do you it. Have to. Yeah, I know. How'd you guys do? Good. Crushed it. Yeah. You know. Crushed it. Done. Ready for some <laughs> beer now? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta take one more to the bottom, nice and slow. <laughs> I didn't want to do this many laps. But once we got to 25, really 35, now the goal is 50. The course record's 43. It used to be called the Gun Barrel 50, so in honor of the original challenge, we're going for 50 laps. Somehow still been able to maintain like three minutes down the down the pitch. Eight laps an hour, a little over eight laps an hour. It's in the groove, you know? Get in the pain cave. And live there for a little while, you know? Maybe getting delirious, who knows? But I got trail bars, got sour patch kids. Life's good.
think this is the key to recovery. Anytime you get a chair by yourself, you just gotta lay down. 48 laps down, on to 49. It's, we got 15 more minutes. So I think we get two more runs. Three is probably pushing it. Someone told me the record's 52, but then they just told me I already have the record now. We're just gonna dig deep. We're just gonna put it all out there. See you in three minutes when I finish this nap. All right, it's Monday. I guess I never really did a end of the race update from Gun Barrel 25. So end of the day, I did 52 laps. The last one didn't count. So, you know, just a bonus mogul run. Why not? Um, that messed me up, man. I was, uh, I was hurting yesterday. Still a little bit today. Definitely lower back's in pain. Um, so update, let's see if, oh. Yeah, so good, nice neck sunburn. Yeah, if you want a guaranteed sunburn and guaranteed sore legs, Gun Barrel 25 is your move. Um, equipment update from the rocks. We got some solid core shots here. Um, kind of, honestly, not as bad as I was expecting. I was definitely expecting just full ripped out edges from this thing because we're just hitting rocks every single run um but yeah this was literally the first day i ever skied on these skis so brand new skis now they have core shots <laughs> it was a good challenge it was an interesting day for sure um i certainly didn't need to keep going after 25 and we did and got to 51 official laps broke the record the old record is 47 
uh, the math on that was averaging eight and a half laps down gun barrel per hour, averaging three minute descents for all 50 laps. Um, less than that sub three minutes for the first 25. So I don't know, my back hurts, my legs hurt, but I guess thanks. Thanks Heavenly for putting on a event that is not about the prizes. It's way more about the uh, ego really and being able to say you did 25 laps on on gun barrel and putting it out there is just a benchmark challenge for everyone so whether you got out there and you did six or you did 15 or you did 25 or you did 50 like everyone was out there pushing themselves and that's super cool um and i love to see events that are that way because you just don't see events that like can take anyone and push them to their limit so whether you're out there for three hours or you're out there for six it was just about doing the best that you could so right now definitely doesn't seem like something I feel like doing next year but maybe next year in March I'll feel different and we'll be there again later hopefully the next adventure is uh, maybe less repetitive that would be the goal <laughs> maybe like a Shasta some volcano trip something cool that uh, takes you to some sort of destination and not just <laughs> 52 laps, 80,000 vertical feet of the same exact muggles over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time.